Yeah, good evening YouTube. So I'm setting up a multiple battery discharger here and these are some of these all-in-one battery dischargers. I, they're mainly for lithium but I think they'll handle other chemistries as well and you can set up the parameters. They have a display that measures amp hours, watt hours, volts, amps. Mike of Mike's DIY Powerwall had a really neat idea with these. These devices run off of up to, I think they run off of 12 volts. There's also a 5 volt USB version, but they take a single 12 volt power supply and what you can do is on the back here's the two pins from the power connector and you can just jumper a number of these boards together and power them all off of a single power supply. So that's what I was thinking of doing. I'm, I want to string together about eight of these and then I'll use a single battery holder for each device and the way I'm going to set that up, I picked up some two-pin JST cables and they'll just fit over here. So I'll be able to put those in right here and then be able to fit the cell holder kind of diagonally like that. So this is for your sense wire and then the blue terminals here are for the discharge wires. This gives you the four wire sensing so you can also do internal resistance I believe. And then what I came up with for mounting these is I, I made myself a little 3D printed part and the, the boards have little standoffs, hex standoffs. I think they're 3 16 maybe four and a half millimeters. So I just sized some little hex depressions in here that are kind of a tight fit. And you just pop them on like that. So I'll be able to stack all of these boards end to end. Of course, I put it on the wrong side. This one's already got one. So you can see I can just stick this one right here I'll stack all eight boards up. Before I mount them down, I've got to connect up all of the power wires underneath. And then I can screw each one of these down. I'll probably either screw them or use a little dot of glue. And then I'll go ahead and screw down the cell holders. At the top, I'm going to do a couple of extra things. One is I'm going to put a DC to DC step down converter. I'll set it for 12 volts output to power the first board in the in the chain up here and that way I can run this off of off of 12 volts I can run it off of 16 volt off of my battery bank if I ever go to 24 volts I can run this off of 24 volts and then the other thing I'm going to do like uh, Paul Kennett does is I'll put one of these standalone cell holders and a little three digit LED voltmeter and that way before I plug cells in to discharge I can plug them into this holder get the voltage record that pull it out of this cell holder and plug it in here do the internal resistance test and then I'll run the discharge test let me get back to you when I get these put together and show you what it looks like so I have all the jumper wires connecting the eight uh, cell dischargers. So you just have to make sure you get the top ones all tied together and then the bottom of the connector shell tied together. That way all the polarities are right. And then I put in all the uh, little hold down brackets. So with these, the way to put these on is leave the screws in the standoffs loose and then get everything pressed in because you have to wiggle the standoffs around until it lines up with the hole. Get them all pushed down and then feel across here for alignment. You don't want any offsets here side to side. And once you get them in the right position, just tighten down the two screws there and the two screws there and work your way down the row. I've got my 12 volt battery here. You can plug one in. It's a 5.5 by 2.1 mil power jack. And there we go. We got displays on all eight units. And I measured the current with eight discharge modules. You've got about 220 milliamps at 
12 volts. So it's not a lot of current, uh, roughly 30 milliamps per unit. And then the other thing I'm, I'm going to put up here on the top is a little voltage checker. But then I'll be able to plug cells in there and check the voltage before I put them in the discharger. And that way right here I can record the resting voltage and then the eight internal resistance readings and then the eight capacity readings all right off of one unit here. I've got to find the uh, English language version of the data sheet. The, the units I got came with 100% Chinese and I can't figure out much from there so I, I need to find the uh, translated data sheet or at least find an online version that I can run through Google Translate because I got to figure out how to uh, how to operate these but I figured I'd get it all set up and then figure out how to run the things but yeah that definitely works good just jumper along all the power connectors and then you just need a single power source to feed eight units and it's about 30 milliamps per per unit more or less I'll keep you updated once I get a little farther on and if you have any questions, I'll post up in the comment section below and I'll put some follow-up videos over on the left side you might be interested in. And as always, thanks for watching.